Do you hear that? I don't either. It's because I'm coming at you from an empty house. Woo! Except for I'm in it. So I guess technically it's not empty. And Felix is here too. Say hi, Felix. <laughs> but other than me and Felix, no one else is here. Anthony is in Toledo with the kiddos and he is visiting his parents. Um, he left yesterday afternoon, left at nap time so the kids would nap in the car and uh, just spent the night in Toledo and is gonna come back but is not coming back till tonight. It's about two o'clock in the afternoon. So I've just been having a weekend to myself which I don't know that this has ever happened. This is the first time that Anthony has driven to Toledo with the kids without me. I've done it plenty of times. When Anthony worked at Honda, he traveled a ton. And so a lot of times on the weekends or sometimes for whole weeks, I would go to Toledo when my parents still lived there. And I would take Gray or Porter. It was usually just Gray because by the time Porter came along, like we weren't really doing that anymore because of the pandemic. But I took Gray a ton and we would go all the time and uh, go stay in Toledo. And so Anthony did that. Um, if you saw my, my last vlog, I explained it. I was supposed to go this weekend to Toledo, but now that I have this part-time job I picked up, um, I had to stay in Columbus because I had a meeting today, which I just finished doing. So I couldn't go, which um, was sad, but it's also nice because I got to sleep in this morning. I got to stay up last night as late as I wanted because I didn't have to get up early. And I just got to do whatever I wanted, which was awesome. So um, after Anthony and the kids left, I did some work around the house. I emptied some trash cans. Just picked up things like that. Then I went on a walk because it was actually really nice, although it was like raining on and off. Um, I had to go return a phone case for my new phone because I tried it and I didn't like it, so I got a different phone case. And so where I returned it was a Kohl's store, and there's actually a Kohl's store like within walking distance to my house. So I just took the phone case and walked to Kohl's, returned that. Um, picked up some lunch and then came back home and um, I made some cookies because I can and so that was really fun and then um, honestly the bulk of my day yesterday was editing videos I had no videos left to where I could just post them on YouTube and so I spent like several hours like four or five hours yesterday just editing videos so that took me a long time but I am totally caught up now so I feel so good about that usually I'm pretty good at editing my videos but because we've been painting every night I haven't had a chance at all to edit and so I'm glad I was able to do that and then after I finished editing I went and got dinner I got some chick-fil-a and of course a milkshake because I can have ice cream now now that Lent is over so that was yummy and then I watched some Netflix I watched a movie that was not good <laughs> was not good at all so that was kind of a waste and then um, my guilty pleasure right now is um, keeping up with the Kardashians they just started their new series on Hulu so I watched an episode of that which is again trash TV but I still liked it anyway and, and then I went to bed um, and then I got to sleep in this morning, although it was sad. Now that I get up at 7.30 or 7, 7 or 7.30 every morning, I only slept until 8.30 today, and then I was just like awake. <laughs> so kind of funny, I really only need like an extra hour of sleep, I guess, but it was nice. There was a big thunderstorm last night, so it woke me up kind of earlier, and it was hard to fall back asleep. So I think that kind of affected it too. But that was nice, and I would just like laid in bed. <laughs> like I never can do that with the kids. I always have to get up right away. I just laid in bed, took my time watching Instagram, just doing whatever. It was awesome. And then I got ready. I've been doing laundry, because Sundays are my laundry days. So I've been doing that, and then I've been switching out some of Porter's clothes. He is such a big boy now. Even though he just turned 18 months in March, um, he's already basically needing to get into 2T clothes, at least for jammies. So I had to get out the 2T bin and put away the 18 month jammies, get out the 2T jammies. So that was a process this morning. And then, like I said, I had this meeting I had to go to. Um, and we, I don't know if I got, if I told you guys, but I picked up a job just as a part-time um, social media marketing 
person, um, just doing a social media page for a restaurant business. So I had to meet my um, partner <laughs> and uh, work on the post for that. So he did that and now I'm back home. So now it's like I said, two o'clock. The boys won't be coming back until like nine o'clock I think. So I still have some time to myself. I just switched over the laundry. I think I'm gonna go outside and go on another walk because it's even warmer today and it's sunny. So. I mean, what I want to do is I really just want to sit and like veg out and watch another movie or something, but I feel like I should go out and walk and enjoy the outside while it is warm because it'll probably get cold again because that's Ohio. So I'll probably do that. I need to put out the recycling bin and stuff because the recycling can or the truck comes tomorrow. Um, and then when I come back, I'll... Um, probably watch another Netflix movie or um, West Side Story. They recently remade it and put it on Disney Plus. I've been wanting to watch that and I don't think Anthony will want to watch that with me so I should probably watch that now while he's gone. I saw the original. Um, I've never seen it live. It's a musical or play. I don't know if it's a musical or a play but something along those lines and they remade it recently so I want to watch that. So maybe I'll watch that and just kind of chill. So this has been like a super relaxing day. I don't really have a lot to show you guys. It's just like me talking to you. So sorry if this is kind of boring, but this is like the best weekend ever of just being able to like chill and do whatever I want and not have to take care of anyone but myself. So that's been really nice. And Felix has been liking the extra attention to you. Happy, are you so happy? Yeah. So anyway, all right, I'm gonna go on my walk. And then, um, I don't know if I'm gonna vlog anything else. I don't know, is this a boring vlog? I had this great idea, like I'm gonna vlog this weekend because I'm not doing anything. But the problem is, is I'm not doing anything. So there's nothing to show you guys except for just to talk to you. So, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, I, maybe I'll maybe I'll turn the camera back on when I get back or something. Maybe I'll have something new to say to you. I don't know. So, anyway, that is uh, my plans for this weekend. Tell me what is your favorite like ideal weekend? Uh, right, right in the comments down below. This is pretty awesome. I know a lot of people. Or not a lot of people, but I've heard women before just taking like weekends off where they just go and do a staycation and rent a hotel room and literally just like sit in the hotel room and do nothing. I think this is pretty similar to that and it is pretty awesome. I highly recommend it if you get the opportunity just to have a weekend off from being a mom and being a wife. Just do your own thing. It's pretty nice, but it is kind of lonely. It is quiet for sure. 